Hey guys, it's Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I wanted to show you guys a coin haul that we got recently. Uh, we spent $20,000 buying all this stuff. Uh, the coin dealer that we work with to make this video happen was Dickie Parsley. If you guys don't know who Dickie is, he actually, uh, we met him a year ago at the Orange Coin Show, exactly a year ago from now. And we were able to not only do some business at the show, but also do some business at his house. And we were able to come back a year later and buy some more stuff from him. Uh, if you guys want to talk to Dickie, maybe you're looking for something special, here's his phone number and information right here. You can get in contact with him. But if you guys want to see more photos of what we were going to show off today, make sure to check out our website at kushacollectibles.com. We're uploading anywhere between 50 and 100 coins a week just for you guys to take a look at and possibly add to your collection. But let's take a look at these coins. Now when you guys think of $20,000 worth of coins, you normally expect a little bit more, but we have about, what, maybe 20 coins in this video. Wanted to show you the gold tray first. We've been moving a little bit more towards gold recently, and Dickie gave us a great deal. So let's show off these 1903 S's first. A little bit of a better date. Um, it gets, you know, a little bit of a better jump in MS-63. Mint State 64 and 65 are pretty tough as well. I like all these coins really because of the rich gold color that they have. Sometimes they can get pretty washed out, but these really have some nice gemmy looking luster. A lot of hits on the coins, which kind of held them back to that 63 grade. And uh, yeah, I just think they're pretty fantastic. And like I said, this year is going to be a little bit different. We're trying to move more towards gold. And uh, this 1852 gold dollars grade MS63, I don't really like the distracting spot on the obverse of the coin, but it was offered to us at a fair price. And so... Really wanted to make a unique offering on the website. Here's something we don't really buy too often either. This is a 2016 W Special Proof Mercury Dime. We ended up buying two of those. Uh, I like the NGC holder that it's in, and it is to commemorate the 100-year anniversary of the Mercury Dime from 1916 to 2016. It's a 10,000 of gold, and uh, yeah, they're just really beautiful coins. Kind of modern though, so it may not be for you, but it does fit really cool in a Mercury Dime set. Here's two other gold $20 pieces. So this is an 1876 $20, great AU55, pretty beat up coin. And you guys can tell that from there, but almost pretty close to a bullion coin in terms of price. And so maybe someone's not trying to buy a numismatic piece, but maybe they're trying to spend a little bit of money towards just some gold for their stack and they want to buy something from the United States, this is a pretty good coin for them. And we bought this last 1900 MS63. Um, the other reason why I like this coin, not only because of the rich color, like I was saying with the other $20 that we got, but I like the gold kind of paper that they put in this, co in this uh, holder as well. And uh, yeah, it's got some nice luster to it also. Let's move on to some of the other coins here. So got a few older holders, nothing too crazy. This is a 1882S MS63. I'd call this coin a 64 in today's today's world. Has uh, kind of a scratch on the face, but nothing too bad. A little hit on the eagle as well. Uh, we got this 1935 over 34 Boone. It's got a little haste to it, but overall a pretty mark-free type of fields. And so, not too bad either. Here's one of my favorite tie pieces that we bought today. This is an 1842 seeded dollar. It's graded XF40. I think it's held just out from being able to cack, but it does have that nice circulated cameo to it on both sides of the coin. Most of the time when you find these coins, they're gonna be end up being very cleany looking. So they're either really white, or when they're not supposed to look white. This one I think has some old cleaning, but it filled in really nicely. So people really like that look to it. Here's 1875S uh, seated dime. It's a uh, mint mark below, which means if you look on the reverse of the coin, you can see the mint mark just underneath the wreath. We bought this coin because it wasn't offered very often when we saw it online. I think the last sold comps were a few years ago. And so buying this coin, maybe it might fit into a higher echelon set. And so had to give that one a try. A few Morgans in this episode as well. This is the 1885cc. Um, it's in a GSA hard pack. No box or COA, it's kind of beaten up, but it is a nice blast white piece. So uh, it is a better date for the series also. Got a few walkers here, nothing crazy, common dates, but 
we are selling them significantly back of sold comps. And so just kind of wanting to move these coins, did see a few bucks in profit in both of them. So I wanted to give it a shot. Here's a 1950 proof Franklin. It's got some color on it. The Trivies pick it up a little bit more, but it is a very affordable proof Franklin in proof 62. I think in proof 64, 65, they get it to like four or 500 bucks. So buying this one for 300 bucks isn't too bad. Uh, got two Mercury Dimes here. One's a business strike, one is a proof. The first one is the Overdate. So this is a 1942 over one. It's great XF40. I do think it's great for the gray, but I don't think it's worth sending to CAC on its own. You can see that one just sticking out there, pretty good. But I do think it's, for the most part, nice and original. I do think it's strong for the grade, but like I said, there's not really a huge jump if it does sticker. I think adding $50 into the coin might add $50 onto the value. So if it's something that you want for your collection, it might be great to sticker, but for inventory's sake, I think it's just something to keep on the website and maybe sell pretty quick. Here's a 38 proof Mercury Dime. No distracting spots on the coin. There are a lot of hits on the holder, so it kind of makes it a little bit hard for us to show this coin. But most of the time when I'm trying to buy proofs, I don't want any bigger hits or any haze on the coin. This one has a pretty nice cameo look to it, and so I wanted to give this one a shot also. Let's move into some more common coins here. This is a 38 Buffalo Nickel. It's got some purple and orange toning filling both sides of the coin. I think this one is decent for the grade. I think it would green beam, but I think it's on a smidgen away from a gold sticker. So didn't send this one to CAC. That's just being uh, us being honest and straightforward. A few Blast White Morgans here. This is an 82S. We try to buy these under $100 and then sell them for $100. Just really flashy luster to the coin, as you can see. I don't really like to buy any ones that are darkly toned. I kind of like to buy ones that are really nicely toned or really blast white. And I think these ones just captured everything pretty well for what we try to buy. A little textile toning on the reverse, but nothing too distracting for me. But a proof like Morgan Dollar. Nice, flashy, little bit of a deeper mirror on the obverse and reverse. And we bought a little bit of a better date in higher grade, 78S. Really nice cheek there, but a lot of bag marks out in the field. And you got that nice flashiness on the reverse as well. A little bit weak on the eagle, as you can see. A lot of rubbing there. And just some odd knickknacks here. A Prospector Inglehard, 1982. Bought that for 25 bucks, make a few bucks on it. Wanted to try something else out and uh, bought this uh, proof set also. But thank you guys for taking a look at this haul. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy this coin haul, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on what was your favorite coin that we shared in this video. And make sure to subscribe for new videos that we have coming out every single day, either in shorts or in longer term content. But we will see you guys in the next video.